Okay, so um, I'm going to continue with the drawing that I left off on. Um, I'm trying the camera orientation a little different way. Uh, apparently when I have guests on that are speaking with me live, uh, apparently it goes crooked and I'm trying to see if this is maybe why. Um, I don't know if you caught my posts. Today was a difficult day in here, in here, however you want to look at it. Um, so, I don't know if y'all want to hear about that. I don't know if you guys want to just, not sure what you guys want to hear about. But, uh, hey guys. Thanks for joining. Um, for the people that are haven't really been here yet, uh, I'm still working on this. I don't know what else to uh, do until I finish this. I was told by one of my viewers last night that uh, working on the same one would be perfectly acceptable until it's finished. This is how far I've gotten so far. I don't know how well you can see it or not. Um, I go slow with my drawing. Um, that way I can add more detail as it goes along. And uh, I've got a cold today to boot on top of uh, not being alright in here. But uh, that's alright. I try to keep it upbeat anyways and try to do what needs to be done. And uh, I did a good job today. I'm proud of myself. So if you guys have any questions or whatever... By all means, talk to me. I, uh, I'll do what I can to answer. I, uh, hope my camera will stay that way because keeping it plugged in is not very, very well with this setup here, but we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, but, uh, hopefully you guys that did see my post understand a little bit more now you know, why I'm trying to do what I do. It's not just about my art. It's not about my poetry. It's, it is about all that, but it's not completely exclusively about all that. Um, and why I'm going live. It's because I want people to know. I want people to know that no matter what you're going through, there's people that, that care and they want to be there for you. I'm one of them. Um, not always easy to get a hold of me, but, you know, and I'm not the best at reaching out to everybody, but this is my way of kind of reaching out to everybody and being a presence. Um, and that's what this is for, in my opinion, to keep in contact with people that, that you don't normally get to. And uh, at least that's what I'm using it for. I'm sure there's a million different reasons why other people do it. I mean, yeah, I'm working on a book. And I'm working on my art and I have a job and yeah, so that's what I do. <laughs> I do a little bit of everything, but, uh, gonna take a look at this here and see where I left off. I think I was just blending before I left. Um, <coughs> those that didn't catch all of last night or only part of it, or didn't catch it at all, um, I tend to go slow, and just so that you can always add to, and keep the layers building, um, but, uh, So, did anybody have a good day today? I mean, I didn't, but I want other people to. So, tell me about your good day. I'm open for just about anything. If you had a bad day, tell me about it. I'll put my two cents in for what it's worth. Everybody has good days, everybody has bad days, and... I guess that's just how we're always going to be, is having those good and bad days. Um, 
Yeah, I love having a mirror in front of me. I see all the wardrobe malfunctions that I have. But that's all right. But anyway, I did have a productive day. I, uh, I helped my mom get water. If you saw the post, it's on there. Um, it did remind me that uh, about a year ago, just before my dad passed away, I was getting water with him. So that's why the post is there. And then... <coughs> I did go grocery shopping and all that stuff. Uh, my Jeep is still a little worse for wear. Um, it's throwing some lights on me, but I guess that, uh, something to look forward to working on, I guess. But that's okay, too. <coughs> Sorry if you guys are hearing my messages come in from other places. I can't really stop that, but... All right, now we got some more going on. I'm going to see if there's more people that uh, I can bring in here. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Going live. I don't know how this all, all this stuff works, you know? I'm just kind of going, playing by ear. And, uh, people that I think might be interested, I just send it to them and, well, Destiny, you're already here. So that's cool. I, uh, don't have to send one to you. Let's see. I think I'm about to the end of the line, and I am. Okay, there we go. All I did was go to Sunday school, then went. Uh, saw my great grandma Marshall at the hospital, then went home, and doing completely nothing after that. What's wrong with your grandma Marshall? Is she okay? Is she going to be okay, or is it like uh, something serious? <laughs> I hope it's nothing serious because, uh, yeah, that's rough. This time of year seems to attract hospitals, I think. It, it's crazy. I don't like it. I'm sure your mom worked today, too. Okay, good, 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 good. Did they find out what was wrong with her stomach, or no? I'm glad she's home. I don't like hospitals. I don't like doctor's offices. None of it. I try to stay away from it as much as possible. Just like this cold that I have? Ah, uh, yeah, no. I don't even bother. I don't take medicines, really, either. Unless I absolutely have to. <coughs> I I do herbal stuff and it seems to work and keep me healthy. Uh diet, exercise. Didn't get to exercise at all last week unless you count turning wrenches cuz that was a workout, let me tell you. So your mom ended up going to work, or you, she went to the hospital? I'm not sure what she tried to say there. Mm. Excuse me. My goodness. Yeah, a lot of people don't respect their jobs anymore. I, uh... I know a lot of people that... I've worked with don't respect their job and uh, I can't say that I always respect my job either but uh, I have this thing called integrity and so I do my job whether I like it or not 
Yeah. Because probably somebody called off or got fired or something. So, and she's like manager and stuff still, right? So, yeah, she'd have to go in. <laughs> Gotta make coverage. Gotta make coverage. And that's just how it works, I guess. I've never been in a managerial role. Actually, this job that I have now gives me the most responsibilities that I've ever had at a job, I think. Um, I'm kind of like my own boss within the, within the company. Like, what was it, last week? Um, Thursday and Friday both, I was working on my own. I had to write up all the reports and everything. Yeah, she. that's what I thought. I know she was pretty high up there the last time that I seen you guys. I don't mind really being my own boss in a way. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, man, I don't like the responsibility of doing it. It's frustrating. It really is. Because if you mess up, it's on you. You know what I mean? <coughs> you either get in trouble or you fix it. Um, and I don't mind fixing my mistakes. That's part of the integrity thing. But it's not always easy to know uh, how to fix mistakes, right? Did your mom get home yet? Or did it, no? Well, I guess probably not yet, huh? Probably not till ten or eleven, I'd imagine. But that would be my guess. I don't know what time she went. She got called back in. I do not miss retail days, I'll tell you that much. I know that's what she does, more or less. It is definitely not for me. <coughs> Pardon me a minute, I got uh, a drippy faucet for a nose. lovely to be going live and having to like blow your nose and all that fun stuff right oh nine well that won't be too bad could be heck of a lot worse right could be like two in the morning or like my last job i'd go in at 3 30 p.m and i'd get out at four o'clock in the morning it wasn't that bad kept me busy probably helped me lose weight i was moving around a lot I love that job, though. I did, I did. But I had to try this new one because there's so much more opportunity with this. Even if I don't end up doing service engineer forever, I can always get into maintenance or whatever else. And that'll be good because that'll open a lot of doors for me. A lot of doors. White is low, so I have to uh, see if I can make this a little bit lighter here. I might have messed it up a little bit, but that happens. It always can happen. It's in life and in art. You can always make a mistake, and hey, we were just talking about that, right? You just got to know how to fix it. Make it look good. So are you going to college? Because I know it's getting to be about that time where you're going to be heading that way, right? College did not work out for me in the multiple tries that I had. And I probably won't ever go back and finish. But that's okay. I'm good with that. I have other things on the horizon for my future. Right? <laughs> I did the whole creepy thing. That's all good. 
I'm in a crazy mood today, so... Navy. Okay. 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 We're, let's rewind a minute. You're serious? You're seriously thinking about going to the Navy? I am all for it. I support you 100% no matter what your family says. Well, I guess I'm your family, but you know what I mean. Your immediate family. Look, there are spectacular opportunities. Um, if you want to go to college later, they're going to help you get through that. Um, with the money wise, um, it, here's my plan that I would like to see uh, your cousin go through, um, my son. I don't know if he's going to go that route or not, but I've told him this is what I'd like to see him do, which is go to the military. I don't care what branch. Go to the military. Um, spend a few years, and after that, go to college for a couple years, even if it's just general studies, an associate in general studies. At least half your, half your work is already done. That way, you know, if you do something down the road, like he wants to be a diesel mechanic. So, he uh, get the general studies out of the way, then go to two year. It's probably only two years at most, maybe eighteen months for, you know, diesel mechanic. And so, get that like do that after the college thing. And so, if you get hurt on the job, you have something to fall back on that's not going to set you back a whole four years. You're going to have two years out of the way. But congratulations on getting accepted. I don't care which route you go with, um, I'm really excited for you on both counts because you're starting out young and, you know, I tried for the military when I was young, but I was the fat kid, so, you know, I didn't quite make it. I went down to processing twice and I was always too big. Uh, I worked my butt off, though. This time I would have made it if it wouldn't have been for the knee. I, I don't know if you realize that, you know, my plan was to go and get in the Air Force by the before I turned 40 in April. And uh, <clears throat> I wish I would have made it, but, you know, things happen. And I got this job offer, which is almost as good as the military, minus the Montgomery GI Bill, which helps with college. But you definitely, I, am, I support you, whichever route you go on. Uh, but you know what I recommend to young people, which is military... For, I don't care, two to six, eight years, whatever program you go to, um, go to college for two years. Um, because not only does the Navy help you with college, but or like any military branch, you are not a fat, at least not the last time I saw you, you are not a fat kid. And if you need to get down to weight uh, for the military, I will help you. And you know I can do it, too, because you saw what I did over the last year, right? A hundred pounds, boom. Eight months, a hundred pounds, gone. Um, I can help you. <laughs> so that isn't even an issue, and your younger metabolism will do it a lot faster than mine did. <laughs> but, no, you, last time I saw you, you're not a bad kid. Um, I'm still a little pudgy. But a lot of it's skin. I'm never going to lose all my skin. The Here's the downside to losing 100 pounds in <laughs> eight months or a year. I don't know if I'll ever lose all that, but I'm not getting it cut off. And I know a lot of people get it cut off. I'm going to try to build some muscle up so that it covers it up a little bit more. But it is what it is. It's like a scar for me. Because um, I don't believe in, in major body augmentation. You know, the fake boobs, and, uh, I just don't, I don't, um, implants and all that stuff, uh, major stuff like that, not for me, uh, well, you know, I, uh, I can move weight off of people, if they listen to what I'm saying, but, um, you know, you, you follow that path, and if you decide to go to a vocation after, the college, <coughs> uh, I don't know what all you're interested in, but it can be something that the Navy teaches you, and then you go to vacation. Hey, there's my dude. Yeah, what's up, distinguished gentleman? Um, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, but yeah, like I was, I, Destiny's my niece, and I was telling her about how. I wanted my son, because she's about college age, and she's starting to look at colleges and stuff like that, and she mentioned the Navy, and um, 
the Navy or any military really offers training that gives you can give you a job after you get out. Then you, if you go get your general studies associates or some, any associates, you get some of that stuff out of the way. And then, you know, if you go vocational school or something like that, it'll, it, stick with something that you did in the Navy and you're good to go. Um, but uh, <clears throat> that's where I'm at. I was drawn too, but uh, I got distracted. I got all excited because she's accepted into college and, you know, that's really big for me. I think that's really awesome and she's thinking about the military that's awesome um because that's what i was trying to do at almost 40 years old and i almost made it this thing right here this thing but um so what's been going on with you distinguished gentlemen i uh i kind of lost touch with you a year and a half ago with everything that was going on in my life i hope things looked up for you and when last we really talked a lot uh but uh, I'm glad you stopped by today. Um, <clears throat> got this cold. Everybody else knows. Anybody else that was here before knows. But I'm trying to work through it. Um, kind of. Lost my train of thought there for a minute. I guess it's probably the cold. Or maybe the day for me, you know? Um, I've got always too much stuff going on in my head. It, uh, it wears on me sometimes. Especially when I'm already run down because of a cold or emotions and things like that that uh, a lot of people don't like to admit they have. I'm not afraid of my emotions. I've had them all my life. I'm sure you did too, but you run from them. I don't run from mine. Um, in fact, with this last bout of craziness. Oh, 30 pounds? You got it. Ain't nothing to 30 pounds. Get you some muscle built up, and that weight's going to drop off you like nothing. That's easy. Especially when you're, you're young, so you get a metabolism, it'll burn through it like, whew, it'll be gone. Muscle is the key to losing weight, I promise. And I don't mean you have to bulk up. You just have to make it dense. But that'll make you strong too. Just because you don't look like, you know, Hercules doesn't mean that you're not really strong. There's different densities to muscle. <clears throat> I'll tell you, some of the strongest people I ever met are Amish people. When I worked for them, down at Rolling Hills Metal, 18-year-old boy, stronger than me, because he's worked all his life. It's crazy. It's extremely crazy. Uh, but they're, they all look skinny. They don't look like super beefy beefcake dudes, right? So their muscles are just hard as rocks. Which, uh, once you get down to the fat of mine, because I do calisthenics, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I still may not be as strong as them, I'm not going to kid you, but um, I need to be able to up my weight before I can really move up. And I can't really do that because I lose weight too easy now. Uh, because I have more muscle, so it burns through. <coughs> Eating healthy will also help. I think that's why this cold isn't worse than it is, because I actually started getting it last night. Um, but it, I expected this morning to, to be really bad, but it is not that bad. I actually um, feel pretty good, except for I got some congestion in here and I got a little bit of a cough. Um, but thats I had a cold a couple months ago. And it was the same way. I think the exercising and burning the weight off and stuff like that's really helped even with my immune system. Which is really cool because I don't get really sick anymore. And, uh, yeah. Or maybe it's eating healthy. I don't know. During the week, I don't really eat garbage food, you know. I eat uh, quinoa, which is a uh, ink and grain, and vegetables and chicken. That's pretty much what I eat every day. And uh, 
Sorry, I got a text. I'm like, miss everything you say because it keeps freezing. I wonder if it's my phone or if it's something else or maybe even the snowstorm. I don't know because it's not stopping or anything on my side. So maybe, I don't know. I know I keep up by the little live insignia it keeps dropping down to like no people. So I didn't know, I don't know when people leave or not except for that. And I don't even know how accurate that is. What's my connection say? No, my connection says it's like real good. Well, I don't know. Um, there's always the possibility of recapping, like, because I save it and share it on my Instagram, or maybe it shouldn't be a live thing. Maybe I should just have it so that it, uh, and actually I started saving them to YouTube. Um, so they're always going to be there too, uh, because w motivational speaker and stuff that I'm trying to do, this is all going to be important stuff for me to even go back and watch because I'm learning. I'm learning as this goes along and as people even stop in and if they share anything or it, it helps me, um, life is never ending learning and we've got to, we've got to keep going with it. Um, hang on, drippy faucet time again. There we go. Oh, <sighs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. I wish there was somebody else on here so I can ask them if they're having the same issues. And I don't know what to do about it otherwise. If it is, if it is my feed, then I'm not sure what I can, I don't know that I can do anything about it. I know, I know the other night Javin didn't have any problem when he was on here talking to me live. That might be the only way to tell is if somebody hops on here and goes live with me. Actually, hang on. Let me see. Where is... Oh, wait, that's not what I want to do. Hang on just one minute. Okay. Okay. Maybe she'll hop on. Hey. Hey, Emma. How are you? Um, we were just talking about my feed being wonky or something. Are you having any issues? Um, I don't know who all else is here. Um, they can give me feedback on my live feed. Uh, hopefully it's not cutting out for everybody. Um, <coughs> I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, I was working on this, uh, this picture here because, uh, I do the art and I talk and that's what I'm doing for right now. Probably I'll hop to some other talent after I finish this drawing. I'm trying to just expand my horizons, you know? But, uh, <coughs> oh, and I didn't show you, I haven't gotten real far with it. Um, I go slow. It, uh, it's harder to see with, uh, the detail and everything with the camera, uh, the way it's set up now. I wish that, uh. It wasn't messing up before the other times when I had it laying sideways. It seemed to work a lot better. But, gotta do what you gotta do. 
Hey, there's Amanda. What up, Amanda? Hey, if uh, let me know if if you're if the video like sketches out because Destiny's having a bit of a problem, and I don't know if it's my feed or if it's just the whole network or something causing a problem with the snow and everything that we're getting. Sorry, nose is running again. Oh, nothing. Just dealing with a little bit of a cold and getting a little further with the drawing. Um, dealing with potential network issues or my phone issues. Um, and, you know, I'm up for whatever kind of discussion going on, you know. Uh, it's what I'm here for. It's what I... whole purpose of me getting on here is really anybody who stops in. That's my whole purpose of doing this. Uh, I, I, I don't know what else to say about all that. What's going on with you? <coughs> Did you have a good day? Hopefully it was a good one. <coughs> Sorry. Can't help the call of nature. <sighs> or that one. Ugh. Greatly apologize for the call of nature this this fine evening, but uh, I didn't want to miss out. Today is what day five? What so Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night? No, today's day five, and I didn't want to miss out. Um, this is something that uh, could be really important for me, so I'm doing it and learning and. Chugging along. I don't know if you caught my post, but I had a bad day. Still having a bad day. In here, in here, somewhere in between. I don't know. But you see, I'm here. I'm trying to smile. Try not to let it bug me. Because you guys don't need to see that. Not that I'm trying to hide it, obviously, because I'll talk about it. But the important thing is, I'm proud of myself today for not losing myself in it. That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing for anybody, is to push through and do better. Even through all these last eight or nine months, whatever it's been, <coughs> since uh, everything went down, just keep finding things to do. Just keep your mind distracted as best you can. Not always easy, I know. Because there were times I was doing things and there was nothing that was going to help me keep my mind off of it. But that's the struggle. Not sure that anything can be done about it, but I think there's a purpose to it. I know it certainly makes me appreciate a lot of things more. Uh, not take things for granted, little things. Big things. Everything's. <laughs> I even appreciate the bad stuff now because it makes me appreciate the good stuff that much more. Sometimes it's just overwhelming. And I know you probably know that too. A lot of people do, I think, and a lot of people are afraid to share it. I do, I do. But uh, that's also why I'm here. Because it's not, a, it's not a bad thing to share it. It's scary. Especially with how many people today don't really care. You know? A lot of people just don't care anymore. And it's sad because we lose a lot of people. We lose a lot of good because people are not nice people anymore. Not everybody. I'm not saying everybody. I've met a lot of wonderful people. Actually, I know for sure two of them are here. So,
Well, Sammy, that's what I'm here for. Um, I don't know how much Manda's told you about me, but what I've been going through and everything, um, I'm still broken. Uh, it's slowly, well, after my dad's death last year in March, it's almost been a year. And, um, it's still dealing with that. Um, at some point, um, as hard as it's going to be, and I'll probably cry while I'm doing it, I'm probably going to share my, the eulogy that I wrote, uh, that never, I, I never got to, cause we didn't have a funeral for my dad. He never wanted one. Um, so we didn't have one, but, uh, I wrote a eulogy and I was never close to my dad. He would never open up to me. And maybe that's why I'm so open because I don't, I didn't have somebody to be open. I didn't have, I didn't really have a dad, you know, I had somebody that was my dad and it's not that he was a bad person. I don't think he knew how, I don't think he knew how to open himself up to people, you know? And I think without him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now because even on his deathbed, I would go and sit in there and he wouldn't talk to me. Not really. Not about important stuff that if I'm ever on my deathbed or well, eventually I'll be on my deathbed. Let's, let's be real about that. But, um, eventually when that happens, anybody who's there, I'm going to be talking philosophy and everything. This is what I think about life. I mean, look at me now. I talk about it now. And, Honestly, like there wasn't any of that. So I don't think that you don't have a daddy either. Well, I'm not your dad, but I'm your uncle. And if you have any problems, you can chat with me and I'm not going to tell your secrets or whatever else. And if you're worried about that, well, there's this thing called I'm a minister and that means that if you say, hey, I'm confessing to you, uh, well, it goes against God if I tell other people. So there's always that. Not to mention that, uh, hang on a minute, I got drippy nose syndrome again. Not to mention, I take the samurai thing very seriously. So if I promise, if I take a vow, if I take an oath, I don't talk about it. That's something that is just the way it is um that's why i'm very careful with the promise but anyways <clears throat> so i'm still dealing with all that and the eulogy is more so about um the father that i never had that i that i miss more than anything and that's difficult that's something that i haven't dealt with yet and it's coming. I mean, I wrote through eulogy and everything, and I shared it with my sister, Emmy. But, uh, even if you guys don't want to share, be with people that are positive. Don't, don't bother with the people that are going to bring you down all the time. Stay away from them. Don't talk to them. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that either because sometimes they're family members and they'll bring you down too. They can bring you down. Don't just, they're family though. You don't want to just turn your back on them. Um, I know I'm one to talk, right? Cause I don't talk to a lot of people, but I'm trying to reach out to pe more people. It's difficult for me. And I've told destiny before destiny before it's been around, uh, Mandy knows, but you know, I'm trying, I'm doing the best I can, the best I know how to do. Um, I can't spread myself too thin, so this is really a simpler way, and here I am. Anybody wants to talk to me, they can go live with me, they can chit-chat with me, they can pull me aside on Messenger, um, they can say, hey, can I text you? Hey, can you? Can we? Can I call you? Um, hey, if you're close enough and it's not too far, I'll be like, hey, we can meet up. Like, I'm not, 
I'm not creeper guy or anything. I'm trying to be a public figure. So, you know, um, it was that guy, that guy right there. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. You can't be easily be a bad person and be in the public eye like I'm trying to be. Um, not that I would anyways, because I don't really, I don't like creepy people. They creep me out, you know what I mean? Like in crazy eyes. The crazy eyes like, ooh, what are you doing? Anyways, I'm going to stop doing that before you guys get creeped out. Because I just saw myself really close up too, and it creeped me out, so we're all good. <laughs> but anybody, that is why I'm doing this. Anybody. Anybody who sees this and needs to talk to somebody, talk to me. Anywhere, any way, shape, or form, talk to me. I know. It's hard. It's hard to trust somebody you don't even know. But sometimes it's the best ones to trust, especially if you're like 3,000 miles away. It's really easy to talk to somebody you don't know who's 3,000 miles away. Because who are they going to tell? Nobody. Sorry about the cold. I, there's nothing I can do about it till it heals. But uh, it will. I'll be probably pretty good tomorrow. Probably still have the cough for like two or three weeks. It seems very similar cold as I had a couple months ago. But I think actually talking about your feelings is very important and I'm learning it's even more important and it's important because it's not just for you when you when you let those feelings out you're communicating to someone else you're communicating to them that you trust them you trust them with your inner feelings and how you feel and how you love and how you hate. Not that hate is good. I don't condone it. I don't think anybody should hate anybody. Forgiveness is key. Not only for the person, but for yourself. Learn to forgive everybody. because it doesn't mean you have to keep letting them in all the way. But it's important to forgive and let go. Because it hinders your own personal growth when you can't forgive someone. It really does. There's nobody in this world that I hate, even my ex-wife, even though she shattered my whole world. And maybe it's partially my fault, whatever. I don't, it takes two people, okay? It takes two people to ruin a relationship. Something I did, something she did, it's just the way it is. That's how I view it. <coughs> and I forgot what I was saying. I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah, they say the memory is the first thing to go. Here I am about to hit 40. It's already starting. I'm going downhill now. <laughs> Make light of the bad stuff, right? Make fun of yourself before someone else gets a chance to. Oh, I remember. Okay, so don't don't hold those grudges. It, it hurts you. It causes more damage to you, to your, to your heart, than you even realize. It, it makes you bitter. It, it hardens your heart. You want to let that stuff go and move forward so that you can be happy, so that you can be your happiest self. Bad things are always going to happen. Always. Always going to happen. You're not going to get away from it. Somebody's always going to hurt you. The only way to not harden yourself and shield yourself and keep yourself from other people is if you forgive them for hurting you. Find the people that are worth hurting you because everybody's going to hurt you. But you only have so much time for any one person. So, for, for anybody. I mean, you can't... I mean, how many people can you spend an hour in a day with? 24. Actually, not even that because you got to sleep, right? Most people sleep anywhere from four to eight hours. Uh, so, you know, at absolute most, unless you're skipping sleep, 
the absolute most, most people are going to really have an hour conversation with somebody in a day. Well, cause these are showers and stuff like that too. Uh, so what, like you're looking at like 18 hours. So 18 people in a day, if you spend an hour a day or an hour with somebody every day, a different person that most you're going to see 18 people. Right. And actually have like an, a decent conversation, an hour long conversation. Um, unless you do things like me and I'm here, I, talking to a few people in one shot and maybe other people will see this too. So when other people see it, you know, you know what I mean? Um, there's ways that we can talk to more people at one shot, but typically to have, I mean, this isn't, this isn't close talk. You know what I mean? Like for me, it is for me, this is close talk because I'm open um, I purposely keep myself open to, to be able to do this because I want people to trust me, not because I want to get over on them like so many other people do. No, I want people to trust me because my intentions are good. My intentions are genuine. Um, don't trust everybody like you have a potential of trusting me. I mean, don't even trust me right now. I just started doing this. Uh, Destiny, you can trust me. You know me. Sam, if that's you still, or if it's Manda, Manda knows she can trust me. Sam, it, that's up to you. That's your call. Uh, if that, if you're there, if you're the one there, um, my whole purpose in life, I'm coming to find is serving people. I'm not doing this exclusively for myself. Yeah. I have intentions of writing a book. Okay. So what I have to say is important towards that book, um, because some of this stuff is probably going to crop up in the book and I'm doing this for my art. Um, not just selling it or whatever, but getting my name out there. Um, it's, it's not easy being an artist. That's why I have another job. You know, your name is important. I want to get my name out there because it's not even about the money for me. I hate money. Money debases everything about a person. If you don't have enough of it, then you're nothing in our society. I hate that. For me, I'm creating something that is beautiful and I want people to enjoy it. The more people know about what I'm doing, the more people will be able to enjoy it, if that makes any sense. So the motivation that I'm talking about, even when I'm hurting like I am today, I'm still here doing what I'm trying. I'm trying to progress myself. I've pulled myself together, even through the pain, even through the low self-esteem, the lack of confidence, and I'm here. I've separated myself from those bad things so that I can be here. Not just for me. There are elements that help me. But I, the whole purpose of writing a book isn't... It's motivation and helping people. And... You see what I'm getting at here? Like my art. I want to share it with the world because people think it's beautiful. <clears throat> my autobiography when I write it. Yeah, I'm going to use I'm going to use Instagram to help sell it. But I mean I'm still not going to charge it like a bajillion dollars for my autobiography. It's my autobiography. Like who am I, right? Like I'm just some dude in Oil City, Pennsylvania. What? <laughs> you know? <clears throat> uh broken man whatever. Right. But, um, that's how it all works. We have so much loss of interconnectedness in our society because nobody trusts anybody anymore. And it's sad. Nobody trusts anybody anymore because we don't know anybody anymore. We're afraid to show our emotions. Because we're coming up in a society that says, oh, emotions are bad. You can't have emotions. That's the only thing 
that is truly yours in this world. Your perception and your emotions, your thoughts, those are the only things that are assured that you own in your life. Don't give them up. Don't let anybody tell you that your emotions are not worth it. Because I'll be the first one to tell you as I'm going through all this stuff and I'm crying at work and I'm getting compliments of my work even though that I have tears streaming down my face because that's how I was often for a while. They're my emotions. I'm allowed to have them if they don't hinder my work. Because a job, you have to do your job. Don't let anybody take your emotions away from you. Or your thoughts. No. They're yours. And your perceptions. There's no real truth in this world except for your perceived truth. There, Because nobody... That's what everybody else's is. Is a perceived truth. So... Yes, you may be skewed, and yes, you should listen to what another person has to say about the reality of your perception of truth. But that's your truth, okay? Those are the three things you have in this world, and that's it. And I should take note of that, because that's really good stuff right there, right? And I don't want to forget that. So, perception of truth. Emotions. And thoughts are the only things ever that are actually yours. So, <clears throat> it's shit saying that nobody's here, and that may be the case. Um, I don't know if it's sketched out or not, but... <laughs> Seriously, though... Like, I had a lot of people that made me feel like my emotions were not important. And it hurt. That was one of the biggest things that hurt so bad. Uh, I made a post on Facebook. Well, I didn't make the post. Somebody posted it and I reposted it. It was about toxic positivity. When I was hurting and... Oh, everything will be all right. Oh, you'll get through it. You're good. You're tough. You can handle it. They wouldn't talk to me. They wouldn't talk to me. They were so busy that all they did was sweep me under the rug. Oh, I got shit to do. I would have rather them said nothing to me than to say something like, You got this, man. You'll be good. Think positive. All right, yeah. That doesn't help. That doesn't help anybody. It's a great concept, but it really does not help anyone. Especially the person that's hurting. <coughs> because it diminishes your feelings. And it's taking your feelings away as they're not important. But don't let that happen. And I don't say confront the person. Your feelings are your feelings. Don't let them. Don't let anybody f make you feel like your your emotions are not important, even if it means just ignoring them, because that's what I did. Actually, it made me angry, which is a good thing for me, because I I can use anger as a fuel. I can use anger as a fuel to do art or write a poem or whatever. I can manage anger because I, growing up, I was a very angry person. I was very deep and dark and brooding, angry, angst-ridden person. And I didn't want to be that angry person so much. So what did I do? I meditated a lot in my early 20s because I decided that I didn't want to be that person, amongst other things. And so I'm not that person anymore. I have a handle on the anger. <coughs> Somebody makes me angry, I can maintain my cool or I walk away because there, there's no reason to like lash out um, now, if somebody hits me, that's a different matter. I deal with that as it comes. I don't recommend, it depends on the situation. In one hand, I recommend you stand up for yourself. 
On the other hand, I recommend walking away. Just depends on the situation. Not always an easy thing to determine at that moment. But I have been in the moment where I did walk away. I have been hit and I walked away. Of course, I, I don't want to say I started it because he just was off the hook for like two or three years and just harassment. And so I lost it eventually. But that was when I was in high school. So, you know, that was before I did my whole anger management thing for myself. <coughs> I keep saying sorry for this cold. There's not much I can do about it. Um, <coughs> so you do not want to, you don't want to lose yourself to all those things or to the people that want to take that away from you <coughs> because they don't know how to deal with their own emotions. So when they see somebody dealing with their emotions, expressing their emotions, <coughs> it scares them. Um, it, I'm sure it scares other people that I show my emotion, you know? In fact, I've seen people, like, just run away from me. Oh, I don't want to talk to him. He's upset right now. Or, oh, he's too loud. I don't want to hear him talk. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Um... I don't just show negative emotion. I show it all. Like if I'm, if I'm excited, I show excited. There's certainly times that I keep it like hidden, but I at least speak it. It's important to let people know that they can trust you. And that's one way to do it. How can you expect somebody to open up to you? If you don't open up to them, you have to, it's part of communication. Um, it's the hardest thing in the world sometimes. But you just got to do it if you're going to gonna have any kind of meaningful relationship. And I don't mean just like a romantic relationship. I mean any kind of meaningful relationship. This is all, some of this stuff I'm just learning now. Like, I'm an odd person. I'm, I'm socially awkward as all heck. That's why it's easier for me to get on a live than it is to go and talk to, actually, I, I could, it's, okay. For me to interact, like say at a party. Yeah, that doesn't happen. I, I don't interact with a bunch of people at a party. It just doesn't work for me. Um, high anxiety, all of that. Um, I can, however, if I know the subject material, I can get up on a stage and talk to a room full of people. There's like a disconnect there. It's not interpersonal anymore. Even if I'm talking to individuals, like they're asking me questions or whatever else, I can do that. I can do that like nothing if I know the subject matter. Um, now you get me up in front of like uh, this, like live video. I was awkward the first couple of days, but I seem to be doing a lot better now. Especially when I've had a few people talking to me on here. <coughs> and I don't think anybody's on here talking to me right now, or listening to me right now. I could be wrong, but my people are showing zero. No people. But I'm still doing this because it stays up for 24 hours. So in the 24 hours, anybody who wants to view it can. And, uh... Speaking of which, my hour is nearing up, but I'm not done yet. Uh, I wait for the 30-second countdown timer. That's right. If you've never done a live, they give you a 30-second countdown timer to say your goodbyes. And I, Oh, there it is. Right there. 30 seconds. I have 30 seconds to tell you that I love everybody that stopped by. I love everybody who didn't. I love everybody who might see it within the next 24 hours. And I'm going to put it on YouTube. So... Anybody who sees this, I love you, okay? You are worthy and you are important. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for uh, being here. Have a great evening. Goodbye.